Chronic stress can cause health issues. I think it is important to recognize how harmful stress can be and to learn methods to neutralize the, the harmful effects of stress on the body and mind. One of the latest statistics I read is that 85% of all illnesses are stress-based. Stress is the biggest happiness robber that we have. When we are living in stress, all kinds of biochemical reactions are happening and reactions in the brain that are pulling us away from that happiness. The stress response has its own brain activity, its own heart rhythms, its own biochemistry. So does the love response. When you're in that love response, you have different brain chemistry, you have different heart rhythms that go into what's called heart coherence, mm -hmm. and you have just a whole different biochemistry. When we talk about heart coherence in the body, we're really talking about the heart and brain being in sync. Okay. And this is something we can quite literally measure. And we tend to think of the heart as a metaphor of emotion. It's yes. really, it's not. It's literally very much involved in actually creating how we feel. And it's why our emotions are reflected in the rhythms of the heart. We can yeah. tell with about 75% accuracy what somebody's emotional state is just by the heart rhythms. Heart coherence occurs when the heart rhythms are in a smooth and regular pattern. Some of the benefits are deep relaxation, clear thinking, more focus, and feelings of being grounded and centered. When we are feeling angry or frustrated for just five minutes during the day, it will affect our immune system for up to six hours, but when we're feeling love and joy and happiness, it can affect our immune system for up to six hours. So if we're in a situation where we're under a lot of stress mm -hmm. or we have a lot of anxiety long enough, that becomes our baseline. You cannot change that baseline without changing the activity of the heart because it's the primary player creating the baseline. Heart coherence is a rapid way of establishing a new baseline. Right. So maybe we're in a traffic jam, but to replace that anger, right, we do the heart-focused breathing. And step two, another technique called quick coherence, it has a profound shift on our physiology. Yeah. And that starts adding energy instead of draining energy. HeartMath has developed several techniques to help balance the heart. The quick coherence technique is one way of engaging the power of the heart to transform stress. First, focus attention in the area of the heart. Next, breathe with ease, imagining that your breath is flowing in and out of the area of the heart. Next, recall a positive feeling, a time when you felt good inside or find a sincere attitude of appreciation. Try to sustain this feeling.